Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Emilio from Stella. And if you're watching this, you may have encountered the strange folder question mark appearing on your Mac. You may have seen it previously, you may actually be experiencing this right now, or you just wanna know a little bit more about what this is. Now this can happen when you boot up your Mac. You turn on your Mac, and then it doesn't actually boot up to the Mac OS operating system. Rather, the screen is just presented with this folder icon right here with a strange question mark. Sometimes just rebooting your Mac can get you back into the Mac and you'll be fine. And then it may happen again in future. Worst case scenario, you boot up your Mac, you see that question mark folder, and then you can't actually get into your Mac. You reboot and it shows it again. You reboot and it shows it again. You can't actually get in to your Mac OS. So we'll give you some of our recommendations on how to recover your Mac from that folder question mark. How to actually get in, how to recover the data if you have lost any data as a result of this. So why does this happen? Well, inside every single Mac, you've got a hard drive. And inside that hard drive, you have your Mac OS operating system. This is Mac OS Monterey or a different version of Mac OS. And this is the software that essentially makes your Mac run. When you log in, you are presented with Mac OS. Well, when your Mac boots up, it finds and tries to locate the location where the Mac OS operating system is installed on your hard drive. And if for whatever reason, it cannot find that location, it throws an error, which is this flashing question mark folder icon. It can't find it. Your Mac is corrupted. Something has gone wrong. The boot system is incorrect and it can't actually boot in to that hard drive correctly and actually find that Mac OS installation. So here are some things that you could try. The first is if your Mac does boot up, let's say for example, you are presented with this question mark for a few seconds and then it boots into the Mac or you're presented with this question mark, you then restart your Mac and then it does boot in. First thing that I would do is log into your Mac as normal and go and run a disk utility. Go and scan your hard drive, fix any errors via the first state on your Mac, just in case there are any errors that are present on your hard drive. The second thing you could do is go into the startup disk area on your Mac. You can open this up by going into system preferences, clicking on the Apple logo on the top left hand corner, going down to system preferences and then locating startup disk. You may need to unlock this, but then make sure that you select the primary hard drive. This is the hard drive where your Mac OS is installed and then click on restart and it should hopefully then go away. If you can't get into the Mac at all and it's stuck on this question mark icon, then you can get your Mac into recovery mode. Turn off your Mac and then boot it up into recovery mode. Go to the Apple logo and then select startup disk, making sure that you're selecting the correct disk in there and then click on restart. If your hard drive doesn't even show up in there, then there could be another underlying problem. And then we recommend going and running disk utility from within this area. After disk utility has run, go back into the startup disk area and see whether your hard drive is listed. If it is, click on it and then select restart. Now if that still hasn't fixed it, then the next step is to go and reinstall macOS. The only thing that you've got to be aware of is that by reinstalling macOS, you may lose data on your computer. So I'd recommend that if you do definitely have data on there that you have not backed up and you cannot recover, then you are gonna to have to get that data off that hard drive first before you go and reinstall macOS onto it. You can use what's called target mode, so you can connect the Mac that is faulty to another Mac with a cable, and then set the faulty Mac into target mode, then the other Mac will be able to read that data. The other option, if it's accessible to you and you've got a Mac that you can do this, you could take the hard drive out of your Mac and actually back up the data that way. You could also get a technical professional or an Apple support person to be able to recover the data off your computer. You could also install Stella's data recovery software and restore the data that way. If you do have a backup of all of your data, that's great. Generally, that is what we recommend all the time is to make sure that you do have a consistent backup of all of your data so that if you do need to reinstall Mac OS, you can recover the data later. But if you do have access to your data or you're not concerned about losing data, then the next step is to reinstall Mac OS. And if you are on an M1 Mac, the process will be different to an Intel Mac. On an M1 Mac, you hold down that power button down for a number of seconds and then power on your Mac. On a Intel Mac, you wanna hold down the Command and R key and then power on your Mac. You will then be presented with some options there with one of the options being reinstall Mac OS and in my case, Mac OS Monterey. Then follow the standard steps to reinstall Mac OS. Once Mac OS is installed and you're booted back up, 
you can then get that data back that you just recovered or backed up and then move it back onto your computer. So they were the steps to recover your Mac from that question mark fold up. Why don't you let us know in the comments below how you went. Do you like this video if you did like it and also do remember to subscribe, click on the button and on the bell. We release videos all the time that will help you out. But thank you so much for spending the time. We'll talk to you next time.